We are at Harajuku. We are at Harajuku, one yes. of my favorite places in Japan. Oh my god, you're this exploding is with cuteness. Dessert Central. And dessert Central. What are we going to do we here then? We're going to eat everything. We're going to eat all the desserts. It's yes. a dessert vlog. Let's go, guys. <laughs> So they've Harajuku's known for their crepes. So crepes, um, their fashion here is also crazy. There's a lot of like, you'll see girls um, dressing up, you know, really out there. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, first stop, yeah. sweet box. Oh, where? where right that? here, as soon as you walk in. Oh, right. Okay. Sweet box, crepes. Let's try it out. Babe? Yeah. What's so special about this crepe This one is famous for their thin, classic crepes. It's very simple. That's for sure. I mean, that's their selection, which is very small compared to all the other places. So Delana got the double chocolate banana and cream. Ooh la oh, la! Yeah, look how good it looks. That looks crazy. So you can see this crepe is quite thin as well. So what? You got apart. cream, banana, chocolate ice cream. You gonna take photos? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna get a crazy sugar rush by tonight, aren't you, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Tasting time. Tasting time, one, two, three. Ooh. <laughs> you have to finish all the desserts yourself. Wow. This is a Delena dessert day. So we've eaten at two other crepe stores before. Yep. But this crepe is actually quite different. Oh. It's definitely more thin and the outside is quite crispy as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, Jesus. <laughs> Look at this girl just chomp it down. We're at the next dessert location, Beer Papa's. So we've been here so many times and it is honestly the best custard pub I've ever eaten in my entire life. Let's get it. We're gonna get the pie cream puff. Strawberry cream. We usually get custard cream, but we'll change it up against strawberry. These are so good. One of the best custard cream puffs I've ever had in the world, to be honest. They do it all over the world, but Japan do it best. The quality and the crust and everything else is just amazing. Whoa. Ooh, look at it. It's got like a little so pink good. dust on it. All right, like little strawberry sprinkles. Yeah. So this is new to us, so we're going to try this out and see how it is. Can we please eat it? <laughs> That's a big bite. How's it? Mm. Oh wow. Really? It tastes like a strawberry ice cream, like on the inside. It's oh like, really? It's quite yogurty. Do you like it? Do you prefer custard? I think I still prefer the original custard. But it tastes like strawberry yogurt, so if you're a fan of strawberry yogurt, definitely recommend it. Let me try, let me try, let me try. Wow. Whoa. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Tastes like frozen yogurt. Ooh. On to the third dessert location. Our next dessert. I'm getting a sugar high. Oh. So many things to do. I mean, this place has everything. Just to eat. Clothes, food, pretty girls, hats. Wow. Cute girls, hats. So I saw some haiku stuff and I'm gonna suss out the store. Just, just, I mean, there's all this other stuff, but I saw that, so I'm gonna go. So once you get past through all the panties and bras, there are, there's an anime place here, I think. Oh, look how cool this is. Totoro. Ooh, I want that. I want that in my room. Can I take that home? So in Japan, there's a whole bunch of these things. They're located all over the place. Stores, airport, shopping centers. Basically what you do is you put in a 300 yen in here, spin this around and the little, you know, little ball comes out and there's a prize in there. Oh my God, that's so cool. They have so much. This, this. These are hella expensive. 80, $85, 90 bucks. So they're not that cheap. Look what I found. Oh, cool. Elizabeth. Oh my god, who would want that? A giant plush toy of freezer. Are you gonna hug that thing at night? Bloody if stab you in the back while you're sleeping. Oh. One piece. <laughs> Look at that. 
Yo. Oh, yeah, no worries. What's up, boys? <laughs> Whoa, these go for about like 150 to 200 bucks. <laughs> Guys, haiku stuff is not cheap at all. I mean, look at this little keychain, all right? That's 30 dollars. 3,000 yen. That's like 38 bucks. My goodness, really? <laughs> So I highly, highly recommend this crepe place with all my dessert knowledge and all the desserts <laughs> I've eaten in my entire life. And um, there's one right across it too, I, which I is also very popular. The reason why I like it is because they actually pack so much stuff on it. So you've got a brownie cake, you've got bananas, cream, ice cream, and then you can add extra toppings on as well. And there's like, also oh. really weird combos like tuna and curry cream cheese. That would make me spew. On to the next dessert location. It's called Com Crepe. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Crepe. And apparently they blow torch the creme brulee. They chuck it on a crepe and you can eat it. This place is very popular for their creme brulee crepe. Um, I think it opened a year or two ago and it was really popular. It seems so. They have their own really security popular. guards, so yeah. it must be really so popular. It's definitely died down now, so we want to check it out and see if it's any good. All right, let's do it. So they blow torch it. That looks insane. And this is the master behind the cum crepe. It looks very stylish. So it's 600 yen for the, the crepe brulee. Okay. You got vanilla, you got fraise, you got choco sack chocolate. There's some fine dining crepes. Wow. Oh. That's what it looks like. Wow. Oh, got pajamas. So here it is guys, a cream brulee crepe. It looks really funny. <laughs> so I don't actually get to eat the crepe straight away. She's got to take a photo and it has to have a nice background. You know, you can't have the cement floor as a background. So she's going straight for the stalls. Okay, can I eat it please? Whoa. Oh my god. Tastes like a creme brulee in a crepe. And the cream is very delicious. It's custard, smoky, very sweet, but not, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Oh, wow. There's some good flavors. That's a high quality Michelin star crepe. I could eat like two of those at least. Two to three. You can That's scoff cool it down. Well, yeah. yeah. Yum. Holy guacamole. Guacamole. He has found his perfect crepe. Have a good one. Amazing. I want more. So we're at Zaku Zaku, which has ice cream and a croquant. Oh my god, I thought that was a display. That's a real pigeon. So these are the croquants. I have no idea what they are. They're like a stick. So it's meant to be a pastry on the outside. With more custard. With custard on the oh inside. Oh my god. But the ice creams look really good. You can try the ice cream if you like. So we're gonna get the croquant. Yes, we'll try it then. Okay. Croquant! Croquant! <laughs> they're like, Yeah, they're, they're like, what is this guy doing? I'll say it again, I don't give a shit. Croquant! <laughs> watch out for the pigeons, they don't shit on you. Oh, yeah. yeah, watch these pigeons. Look at it. I know, they, they be eating the croquants. <laughs> That's a big ass pigeon. How fat are you, dude? Look at all that custard. Oh my goodness. So they chuck all that custard in there. It's like a needle. And they shove one of these into it and then the custard goes right through. Oh wow. See? And then they place it on there and it's ready to eat. I like, I like saying croquant. It's like a croissant, but more sophisticated. Croquant. She's not paying attention to me, she doesn't care. Damn bird. You just eat all the croquants from Zaku Zaku. People drop that croquant and you go straight for it, don't you? You custard filled bird. You delicious damn bird. You must be so full of custard and delicious. You would be some amazing quail. Look at the croquant guys. It looks very funny. It looks like a breadstick, to be honest. Like it's pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> It's pretty hard. You can just wave it around and we're fine. 
And then once you bite into it, it's very soft on the inside and then obviously you hit the custard. You're being very sexual to that croquant, babe. Hey, are you gonna give me some? It's pretty good. Okay, okay, take it easy. Interesting. It's a really strange type of pastry. The texture is really crunchy, but soft. The custard is really nice. It's cool and fresh. Not too sweet. It's nice. Would you eat it again? I wouldn't get it again. So we're gonna go shop now. Harajuku has some amazing stores. A lot of streetwear like Carhartt, Supreme, uh, Bape. So we're gonna check it out and Delana's at H&M again. So we're, we're shopping. So we're at a shoe store called ABC Mart. It's got some awesome shoes, whole bunch of wide varieties. Delena is trying on these white sneakers because her boots are too tight for her. And her feet have expanded from all the desserts. <laughs> They're pretty good. So you decide to get them. Nice. Putting them straight on. Cannot wait. Her feet hurt too much from walking around in boots. So we had to get shoes. Guys, that's just how it goes, you know? She planned it all along. She was like, I'm gonna wear boots all day. Yeah, it'll be fine. Next minute, oh my God, my feet are bleeding. Better buy some new shoes. I'll see how it is. All done. So comfortable. Looking good. I can like dance with Yay. <laughs> happy, happy. Oh my God, so Guys, she's really excited about the new shoes. <laughs> she's testing them out. I've never seen her work upstairs. She's never done this before, but I guess now. So this is the place where I get all my comedy garçon stuff. Hi, it's, uh, where? <laughs> and it's a tiny store. It's not the biggest one we've ever seen. It's kind of like a pop-up store. We'll check it out now. So it's at this little place right here, but it's always sold out. You have to come super early. And there's also a whole bunch in here too. the next dessert place rainbow pancake and there's a line there's always a line in japan ain't there so what's your order babe i ordered the original pancake which comes with ice cream and maple syrup Ooh. yeah so let's eat yeah pancake fluff goodness so your pancakes are here babe which one did you get yes i got the original pancake so it comes with the pancake itself ice cream and then you've got maple syrup Yum. shall i pour this on yeah do it Ooh. Are you going to eat that vegetable though? No. Oh, okay. So we're here at cookie time today and I freaking love cookies. I can't wait. I actually found this place from Simon and Martina. If you haven't seen their video already, they actually made a video about this. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so, cool. I'm super excited to try all the cookies. I love anything sweet, so cookies is on the list. And you love Cookie Monster? Yes. All right, let's go. This is like Cookie Monster's Japanese brother. Look at him. He's a bit... He's a bit... He doesn't... He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit... He's a bit... Oh, it smells so nice already. Nice. Mm, wow. It smells like milk chocolate everywhere. There's cookie ice cream. Whoa, there's some crazy cookie shakes. So here are their cookie selection. Oh wow. That looks re those look really squishy. Oh wow, chocolate milk, cookie merchandise. Why does I have a mic here? Do you want to start singing? Oh. It's the cookie car. Oh my god. It takes you to Cookie Land. I'm getting in the spirit of this store, clearly. 
Or maybe I'm just on another sugar high. I would like a cranberry white chocolate. So the cookies are $3.50 each, which is about four bucks something. That's that's an expensive cookie, I've got to say. So this, this is, I hope it's amazing. So I'm gonna try the cranberry white chocolate. Oh, nice. Nice, it's a cookie. It's just a cookie, guys. That white chocolate and cranberry is so fresh. The flavors are amazing. That, that's one of the better cookies I've ever had. I thought it was just a cookie, but then when you bite into it, all these flavors come out. I think she's uh, giving a peace offering or some sort of worshiping the uh, cookie monster. I didn't think I would eat this much because I've had so many sweets today, but this is pretty damn good. It's a very big cookie, which I'm happy about because we paid 350 yen for one cookie, which is quite expensive for a cookie. So the outside is quite crispy. And then once you bite into the inside, it's really soft. This is a really good cookie. Heading back to take a shit straight. Hey guys, who are these dudes? They have a huge, a huge fan base. Yeah, who that? Who that? Who are those guys? Because there are so many people crowding the event. Los Angeles, nice dude, nice to meet yeah. you. The last dessert place we're having is a, a happy, happy pancake. pancake. Pancakes guys, let's try it out. This is what it looks like. That's pretty cool, they look really fluffy and there's the big ass line we're waiting. All right, so I'm watching them place the pancakes down and look how puffy that looks. That looks like it's gonna float. My goodness, that looks so tasty. I could only imagine how good it smells in there. That's where they cook it as well. So just on the spot, look at that. It looks so jiggly and then they put the cover on top. Wow, that's some really cool pancake making. She uses that gun to check the temperature. Make sure it's perfectly cooked. So make sure when you guys come here, you write your name on the list. Mine's right there and then go wait in line. Otherwise, you ain't getting your pancakes. So close yet so far. <laughs> So this is the eating area. It's pretty, it's pretty spacious. There's a lot of people. We're still waiting for the We pancakes. are still waiting. But while we are waiting, yeah. I shall give you some information about a happy pancake. Oh. So it's actually um, an Osaka-born chain and they actually brought it down to Shibuya. And also the pancakes are actually no additives and no baking powder. So they actually steam their pancakes and then do some other goodies to it to make it like fluffy. Nice. So we'll check it out. Can't wait to eat it. We're finally here. here happy, pancake, happy, happy, happy. So we waited about 30 minutes. Uh, here's the menu. Ooh, we got the ordinary one, chocolate, strawberries, a whole bunch. And there's also a lunch one. So we're just sitting next to this cute <laughs> Japanese couple that seemed to be on their first date and we were talking about our first date and the first time we met each other actually. Uh, something really yeah. funny happened. I yeah, came actually, to pick you up. Reminiscing about our first date, yeah. which was like, what, three years ago? Three years ago. You came to pick me up um, from my place late at night. It was probably yeah. like nine. And then I'm blind, okay? I'm like a pretty blind person. I can't see without my contact. I walked outside my house and I was like, oh, there's a car. I opened the door, hopped in. And then the guy sitting next in the driver's seat was like, not you, it was some random guy. It was yeah. a random guy. I freaked out and I was like, what the hell? I was like, oh, where's John? And then I looked behind and there's like two other guys. <laughs> oh, um, is John here? And then they're like, what, who's John? And I was actually across the road because just waiting. Yes. And then so I walked out of the car, super embarrassed, super, super yeah. embarrassed. And then I messaged you and you said you were on the other side of the street. <laughs> so I ended up just walking there. So and that was the first story that I told you when we first chilled together. Yeah. Where's my pancake? Where's my pancake? Where, 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 where's my And here are my pancakes. Yum. Delana's I got, got the original pancake, which is three pancakes with Cream or ice cream? Oh, I'm assuming cream. And got some maple syrup or honey in here. Yeah, yum. Happy, 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 happy. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, 
yummy, yummy. What's this? I'm gonna try this now. Whoa, that's slimy. Goodness, how slimy is that? What is this? It's like a cheesecake, slimy cheesecake. So it's like a strawberry cheesecake pancake. That's good. It's my first bite. How's um, it? Good? I get it. You get it. It's quite airy. But that cream is really nice. That's a really sweet, delicious cream. I will try it with this. Wow, that cream is amazing. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that is really good. So. Eating the pancake by itself is kind of just like a sponge, like a typical sponge. You need to add some of this on. Oh, that is really good. Look at that, guys. Mm. Mm. I'm not even the biggest fan of pancakes, but I think these are delicious. Make sure you guys try it out. They're really good. I am done with desserts. That is it. I cannot do any more. I'm just full of sugar. I throw in the white towel. It's over. Are you full? I could sleep. So Delano wants to go to another pancake place, but I recommend uh, that thing over there. And, and that, that is, is the end, end of our Harajuku dessert, dessert. video. Uh, that was insane. I've got a mad sugar yeah, high. And everything I think, was so delicious. I think I'm crashing now, guys. So I got to eat a lot of desserts today. Look how happy she is. Exciting. I've never seen you this happy in my entire life. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Take care. See ya. Bye. Whoa! We're walking back to Shibuya from, from Harajuku, Harajuku because we felt sick, we ate so many sweets.